Hello, this is JAnit16 and I'm here today with another update on my modern image layout, Cornell Street. Um, I don't do updates too often with this layout because I want to get work done on it and instead of having a video showing two new things, I got several new things to show you. Um, so Cornell Street is a couple of months old now, um, but it's only the last couple, last two months I've been spending a lot of time working on it. It's come to a stop at the moment because I'm planning my exhibition layout and everything. I am doing small bits to it here and there, um, but the main stuff's over now. Um, so we're going to have a look. We're going to start with the latest locos. Um, so here's my second class 150. Um, I did a review on this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this one is now chipped as well, so that's good. Next to him is a class 158. I've had this one for a while. This is now chipped as well and works fine. Um, so that's good. That's an older Backman model, so it's either to chip, but all sorted. I got someone to do it for me. Really appreciate them doing it. And I'll probably have more for them to do in the future. Um, I would like to get another, but not for now. Um, so as we move around, all the track work is done. I think I showed that in the last update. Um, you see over here we got some trains. These are just testing trains, apart from the Freightliner. The Intercity 47, that is not always going to be on layout. It's my brother's. But because it's chipped, I can uh, have it running on here. Do some testing. And it does look pretty nice. That's Firefly, by the way. And then we got the Sound 37 behind so we moved on to the street so this is where a lot of the work's gone on in the last couple of days you can see there's pavements in and they look pretty good and um, so these are the metcalf pavements i don't know if you get the camera to focus on them and they're very easy to use south uh, south adhesive so they just stick to any surface uh, surfaces um and that's great i do use a little bit of pva in places if they don't stick too well like I can see well I haven't messed with the layout in a couple of days and see some areas where they've come up but not a problem I can sort that out so yeah the pavements are in and they go as far as the tunnel and up the hill and they will this will be one lane all the way up here um, the bridge sorry they go under the bridge there and again that's a tight area the lorry's taking up most of the road, but that's what I wanted to go for. It's kind, it's kind of a two-way street, but it would have been a two-way street 50 years ago. So with modern vehicles and everything, it's a little bit tight to get two vehicles through there now. Um, as we pan around, you will notice the lamppost, the uh, street lights. These all work, and in the end of this video, if you stick around to the end, I will add some photos of the lights working and I've had a lot of good response on them uh, no problems to be honest with the street lights I had a few problems with station lights get to that in a minute but now it's going well so the repair garage over here the car garage and um, that's going well I've built the actual garage inside that a box I built out of uh, plastic card a few details still to go in there like um, you know drums and everything the car as well which is going to be this old mercedes on the ramp it's actually been glued to the ramp and that's going to be in there as well got a bunch of people from backman mini figs they do um the scene craft um i i got the depot workers and that's because they come with a tour case and the tour case is actually in the garage you can i don't know if you're make low it's there but um in the future when I get the layout ready um, I'll do some detailed photos so my next step is to get the roads painted I've used plastic card just to try something different um, and I'll have more on that in a future video but they will be painted now traffic lights gotta go in of course um, but yeah it's the layout's going really well and this has got to be my next area I really work on I want to get this repair garage right up to um finished more or less before anything else because it's one of the areas i'm doing a special video on 
uh, special couple of videos I should say, uh, should say. Here we're going to have a small construction area, construction workers and everything. Not not that big, they're going to have a mix, so there's going to be a couple of guys that are just working. And then over here we got roadworks as well. I'm going to be working on that soon. Um, so that's everything for here. i still got to build the bridge, of course. I'm just going to cover this area, cover the scene off. Um, the small car park over here, the City Link van's not meant to be in there. Um, that's just going to be a basic small car park, three spaces, that's it. Um, so that'd be pretty good when it's done. Notice I've done the walls around here and around the car garage. Still got to do them across here as well. That's just using, I don't know if I've got some spare actually. Sheets you can buy from wheels kits. And I just cut them to size. Um, they don't look that tidy, but it's early days. I've got a lot of work to do on them. There's got to be fencing all around this car park as well. So that I'll hide it slightly. Um, the arches are still not fixed in because point motors are not wired up. The point motors are all wired up to the track and behind the board, which we saw in the last update. However, they still need to be wired into the switchboard, which I'll show you in a second. Um, we'll go on to the station first. If we look at, uh, well, if we go towards the station, you notice the platforms. Um, so this is the main platform. This is the one that took me a week to build because I had to wait for paint to dry and everything. But really pleased with the progress. It's a really hard platform to build the way I build my platforms using plastic card and everything. But they come out great. As you can see, both platforms are in. Um, this one I will be working on later on, hopefully, if I get some time. But it's going really well, the station. The lights all work. Again, stay around to the end of the video. I will post some photos. Um, the road that comes up, I've now filled in this embankment. This was all polystyrene, I think, last time. All just open. Filled that in. reason I got that filled in now, I didn't want to do it yet, but I kept putting stuff in there like cars and that and I thought I got filled up because just gotta get stacked up and I'll never get around to it. So yeah, that's all filled in. Um just a basic coat of brown paint. I will be doing static grass on this layout, so static grass all across here and everything. And it looks pretty good in brown. Um I I like it. It looks it looks pretty good. Um so this is the bay platform of course. This is where the pacers are gonna be. I got another pacer on the way. I'll be doing an unboxing of that soon. Um, so we're going to have the bus station, well, bus stops here. We're going to have two stops for the buzzers. Or probably one. I, I think I've got to go for one because I'm going to put one on down the actual street, on down the road. Um, and then there's not, there's not going to be any buildings whatsoever. I've decided I'm not doing buildings on this. There will be a station building. Well, a, a very small station building. But... There shouldn't be no buildings on the layout. And I have reasons for that because it's meant to be designed in a certain way. I'll, I'll explain more on that in a future video um, when I do a special video on the layout when it's nearly finished. But yeah, station lights work. They'll be in the end of the video. These lights work. This one flickers after a while, so I'm going to tamper with that. It did at first, so I rewired it to the station lights because station lights come on a separate um, load of wires that then plug into this and then go into this and then go to the controller it looks messy it will all be tidied up of course um i'm keeping it like this for now because i know i've i've done it i know where all the wires are going and everything so if there's a problem and sort that out same for the street lights it looks very messy at the moment but don't worry it's just if i have a problem with one of the lights I can trace it back very fast before I tidy all these wires up and everything. So I'm leaving it like that for now. That's it. I think that's everything. Um, the signals were coming. However, I put them on hold at the moment because I'm working on the framework for the exhibition layout. I will get them next. Um, I'm going to do ballasting in certain areas of the layout just to see what ballast I want to go for. Um, but yeah, the layout's going really well. I've really enjoyed this so far. Um, I, I do have some of these boxes to go up on next to the track, which will go here. 
I put the cable trunking in, I should have said that. Uh, the cable trunking is in, and that's still to follow across here next to the track. It come to about here because the signal is going to be that area. Um, but yeah, the layout's going really well. I've picked up, like I said, a City Link van. That's the latest vehicle I've bought. I picked up this Porsche I showed in a separate video. Um, the car garage, these cars, what you see here, are the only ones that's going to be there. And the reason for that is the car garages I've gone to, and I know, there's two near me. Uh, my dad's friend owns one. They have a bit of older cars in, and they, the one of them do have um, two classic cars. So I thought, put this lovely classic Royal Mail van in. Um, I think that looks good. That was very popular, actually, on my last Leo Evergreen Bank. So I want to keep that in there. It looks good. And then there's people everywhere that will be sorted out. Most of the people to go in the Arriva Class 143, actually. So when I get another one of them as well, I'm going to need even more people to go inside. But everything's working really well. The DCC is brilliant. I've never messed with DCC, so I'm really enjoying it. Um, so these two are chipped. My brother's 37 at the back there, that's chipped. The Freightliner's chipped. The MPV's chipped and this 150's chipped. Um, so it's just the 143's that are going to be chipped and the one is currently away at a special DCC place where they fit chips and it's having several problems. Um, I do have to chip my Circo 08, this one. Um, I do have to chip that but I'm not in no rush. It's not right for my time and era and where the layout's set but I do like this livery and I thought it'd be something special. So that's the phone going and I gotta go. I shall see you all soon. Bye for now.